Good morning everyone. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a phonics session with the children just to remind them of how different sounds are pronounced and it might help adults too if they're thinking oh I don't know how to pronounce this sound. I'm going to be going through the read write ink sounds, the set one sounds today and this is the cards that we use in school. So these, I'm going to put the link below, I really recommend it if you're looking for something to buy for your kids that might help them out. These are what they're familiar with in our school. However, lots of schools use different schemes for learning how to read for phonics and things. But the way the sounds are produced and pronounced for each scheme is the same. So this will help even if your school isn't using read writing. So we're going to be going through the set one sounds first and then I'm going to show you some little games that you might want to do with your children afterwards to help consolidate the sounds that they know and that they are using. So I'm going to be going through the Read Write Ink Set 1 sound cards first so that we're all aware of how each sound is pronounced. So, T, Y, R, V, J, Z, w, x, sh, So every day we start our phonics session by going through the speed sound cards together and then the kids love to play a little game of their ears. So what we do is I will go through the cards like I did before a little bit faster but before we do that I would say right I'm going to hide the g sound today. So I would put the g sound somewhere in the pack, it's on the floor and then I would start by going through the sounds, get the kids to go ah b k all the flashcards that they see and then when they see the g sound that they're looking for they would shout there he is then they would get a little reward for that so that is what they love playing and it doesn't matter if you haven't got these cards at home you can just make your own cards on bits of paper or card and write their letters on for the kids or they could write their own that could be their challenge Having any set of cards though is just great for the kids because then they can apply the phonics to reading words. For example, d, o, g. They've sounded it out and then they need to blend. D, o, g, dog. And again, sh, r, o, m, from. Once they've done some of that, you could then encourage the kids to even write a sentence with this in or verbally speak a sentence. So you've created the word, get them to sound it out and blend it. G -o -t, got. Then you could say, right, give me a sentence with the word got in it. Or write a sentence with the word got. Another favourite little activity of the kids in my class is phonics bananas or phonics oranges. So anything that can be peeled at snack time. I would use a marker pen and write different words on for different children and they would sound it out and blend it and then when they've got it, their award is the banana or the orange. Mm -a -m -m -m. Another game that's really good incorporating a bit of movement into it is spread out all of your sound cards that you've made or that you've got at home and you would then say, can you find the sound shh? And then the kids would throw the ball or something and hit the sh sound. Can you find the z sound? 
I'm obviously not very good at throwing. Children will be better than me. They would hit the z sound. Then you could get them to sound out words with the ball. So, got, they would need to stand on g or t. There's loads of ideas. I hope this helps, guys. So I hope this has helped some of you guys um, think of ideas and things that you can do at home because phonics doesn't need to be done sat down at a table. It can be indoor, outdoor, wherever you have space. And in the comments box below, I'm going to write loads of links that are really useful for reading, phonics, things like that, in case you haven't got reading books at home for your kids to learn and, and to work with. But just make it fun and the rest will come.